And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next fight of the evening will be a featherweight bout on the 666 kilogram. Introducing first in the blue corner, he's coming from Ukraine. Please welcome to Omar Solomonov. Making the short drive here from Odessa, Ukraine, is Omar Solomanov, seven and two as a professional. And boy, is this kid on a win streak. You wouldn't believe this. He has won six straight fights. And he knows what it's like to be inside the cage with Moldovan fighters. In fact, he holds a victory over Sergei Morari uh, back in 2016. Morari, generally known for his uh, kickboxing background has competed numerous times for FIA. Solomonov has never seen the third round in his entire career. He's seven and two, and he has never seen the third round. So he knows how to finish off his opponents. He knows how to get in there and get the job done. And here he goes to the cage once again, looking for his seventh straight victory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call this opponent to the red corner. He's coming from Azerbaijan. Please welcome to Kuzar Rastamov. This is Eagles elimination. One of the main things we're looking for here in these elimination events is we're looking to get some order in the rankings. We're looking to establish new contenders. We're looking to find new fighters, new blood, so to speak. And so this one in the 66 kilogram division, the, the featherweight division, which is officially at 65 here in Eagles Fighting Championship, where the current and reigning champion is Valerio Mirkea, who won the belt at EFC 11. These two with a chance to throw their names in the hat and try to establish themselves as future contenders for that title. Kazar Rustamov of Azerbaijan, undefeated at 2-0. Two, oh, two years younger than his opponent, but lacking a lot of experience and making his EFC debut here tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner, age 26, weighing 66 kilogram, height 1.70 meters, having a personal record of 9-5, seven wins and two losses. He's fighting for Scorpion MMA team. Ladies and gentlemen, from Ukraine, bring the noise for Omar Solomano. Presenting the red corner, age 24, weighing 66 kilogram, height 1.77 meters, having a personal record of two fights and never lost. He's fighting for Baku Fight Club from Azerbaijan. Bring the noise up for Kazar Rustamo. This is a featherweight bout under 66 kilogram. Five minute, three round MMA rules. A referee in the ring, Alexander Petkoglo. Round one. Touch of gloves and we are underway here. Two extremely talented guys with a lot of potential here. Both guys also making their debut in Eagles. So they've got a, a clean slate coming into this one. Now I've seen fighters before in, in other promotions who maybe have not had uh, fantastic records, but once you enter a new promotion, you know, you, you like I said, it's kind of like wiping the slate clean. You've got a, a fresh start, and I've seen guys, oh my God! Forget about the point I'm making. This one's turning into a war. Boy, both guys really unloading here. The onset of this contest. Trading some massive shots back and forth here. 
can see Rustamov holding him up there against the cage. Very precarious position. S somebody moves just a centimeter or two, and you're going to see the repercussions. Well, he tried to get him on the separation, but just missed. Now we'll see what happens once these two start standing and trading again. We've got Ukraine versus Azerbaijan here. There's actually more foreign fighters on the card here tonight than there are Moldovans, which is surprising. It's the first time that's ever happened, I believe. You can still feel a raucous atmosphere, though. Nonetheless, these fans here in Moldova, they love their fights. And they certainly can respect uh, a foreigner. I, I've seen some, even some fights where the local fighter has had less support than the foreigner. They just like good fights. And believe me, they do support their local fighters, but they're also very educated fans, very hardcore, very passionate fans. Boy, this is so interesting to watch these two. They're, they've got big, long-range weapons that they're using. And it's because of the difference in their stances. You've got a southpaw and an orthodox fighter. It's, it's more difficult to get close. You've got to get outside of the, the, your opponent's legs to try to get in closer and do some damage. So you can see the big, long-range weapons like that. Big overhand shot. See the damage on the face. Actually, on the faces of both gentlemen so far, on the nose of the Ukrainian. Whoa! Oh my! Clubbed him with a right hand too as he had the leg, and he's telling him to bring it. Oh, he will. Tricky little low kick. Oh my! He comes back with a great combination. Uppercuts! Brutal uppercuts! Take the Ukrainian down. I think he needs to attack now. Rustamov needs to attack. He's chasing him down, but Solomonov on his bicycle there. They're trying to keep that distance. Oh, a big overhand right connects. He wobbled him. He wobbled him. Boy, this thing is back and forth. Oh, he missed with that shot. Like both guys have landed some very telling blows in this first round, and there's still 50 seconds left on the clock. I love the matchmaking on the card here tonight. From top to bottom, whoa, a lot of these fights very, very close statistically, which means that it's just going to come down to a few other factors, like who wants it more, who's in better shape, who's better prepared, who's got more heart, things of that nature, because there's not a whole lot on paper between a lot of these guys. They continue to trade shots. Whoa! In the end of a very productive round for both gentlemen. Have another look, folks. There was some vicious shots going in from both guys. Look at this. That was right at the beginning of the round. That is nuts. <laughs> brutal, absolutely brutal. Both guys at, at different points in the round looked like they had their opponent in deep trouble, but they were both able to swallow a couple of very bitter pills and continue to lay into each other. 
Round two coming up. Round two underway now. Omar Solomanov of Ukraine in the white trunks. Khazar Rustamov of Azerbaijan in the bluish gray trunks. Left hand completely extended and stretched out. There he goes again. Both guys a little bit more cautious here. <laughs> or perhaps I spoke too soon. But there, there is a feeling that they're a little bit less productive and a little bit less uh, willing to engage in these slugfests. They've tasted what the other has. Boy, that was a tricky kick. Oh, my! Solomano blasted him with a shot during that exchange. These two are trying to maim each other here. Oh, what a knee that was, and he dropped him. He's holding on to the cage, though. Oh, what a... Rustamov comes right back now. This thing's so back and forth. Absolutely no trepidation whatsoever on behalf of either gentleman. Just letting it all hang out here. Solomano now, lighten him up. Back comes Rustamano now. Good Lord, what a fight this is. Oh, and he tagged him again on the forehead. The left eye of Rustamov is starting to swell shut now. Look at this! Oh, he's wobbly! Rusevo is wobbly! He cannot see out of his left eye! Salamov now, closing in. The vultures are circling overhead! Oh, he's picking him apart now. He cannot even see the right hand of Solomon of Kyle, in comes the towel, this one's history. That's classy, very classy right there. Took his opponent's flag, brought it in the ring here. He never quit. Kazar Rustamov never quit. And he fought with every ounce of his being. And he's pissed. Kazar Rustamov is, is furious that his coach 
stop the fight, but I, I, honestly, I can't blame him because he couldn't even see out of his eye. His left eye is completely swollen shut, and a lot of those shots were going in unprotected because he couldn't even see him coming in, just like that big right hand and that knee. And I, I honestly think that his coach made the right decision. Look, at he's still got his hands up, he's still got his guard up, he's still ready to go. But as you can see, he's trapped up against the cage here, and he's eating a lot of uh, shots. And honestly, it wouldn't have been much longer before the referee uh, would step in anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, due to a corner stoppage, the victory goes to Ukraine, Omar so 